Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to make some carrot shaped macarons. I have a free template for the carrots that you can download on my blog, print it and place under your mat to pipe the carrots. I made my batter into orange and green colors. I've shown many videos on how to make the macaron better, so today we're just going to focus on the piping. I'm going to put a link down below for my Swiss recipe so you can click on that and watch the video on how to make the batter. So like I said on this video, let's focus on the piping. You can use a tip 8 or 10 to pipe the orange part of the carrot. I've tried it with both and it worked great. I actually prefer the 10, but you can use the 8 as well if you don't have the 10 at home. Start at the bottom of the carrot and apply pressure to dispense better as you drag the piping bag up and around back to where you started. To pipe the green leaves, I used a tip number 3. A number 4 would also work great in this case. Simply pipe each leaf one at a time, from the bottom to the top. You just want to pipe a few carrots at a time using the toothpick to help spread the batter to the outlines to form the bottom tip of the carrot and the top of the leaves. If you don't use a toothpick, the points of the shape are going to naturally round out as the macarons bake. It is important to only pipe a few carrots at a time. Fix them with the toothpick before moving on to the next few carrots or the batter is going to start to dry out and you won't get a chance to make the shape defined. Then the shells are going to be bumpy and not smooth on top if you try to use the toothpick on the shells that have already started to dry out. So it's important to do this right after you pipe the shells and just do a few shells at a time. Remove the paper from under the mats as soon as you're done piping. I have made some mini carrots also. They are super cute. You can find a template for the mini ones on my blog as well. The piping tips that I used to pipe the mini carrots were 3 for the orange part and 2 for the leaves. I had made a double batch of batter and I had some leftover batter, so I decided to pipe some round shells as well. I piped some regular 1.75 inch shells and also some mini ones. Let the tray sit so the shells will dry out before baking. Shaped macarons require a lot of resting time, otherwise they crack in the oven. Even if you're used to doing a no rest recipe, I still recommend that you rest the macarons before baking them. 
You know the macarons are ready to bake when you can gently touch the surface of a macaron and it's very dry. In the large oven, I baked the macarons in a 310 Fahrenheit temperature, but the temperature might be different depending on your own oven. Bake one tray at a time. I baked for five minutes, I rotated the tray. Not all bakers have to rotate the tray, always remember that. I baked each tray for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now the mini carrots take a little bit of less time to bake. I baked the mini carrots for about 14 minutes in my small countertop oven at a 290 Fahrenheit oven. Now let's make the carrot cake for the filling. We're going to start out by whisking together flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then let's set that aside. In another bowl, we're going to mix the oil, the sugar, and the egg and whisk until well combined. Then we're going to add the dry ingredients that we mixed earlier and we're going to whisk this together until almost incorporated. That's when we're going to add the carrots. Add the carrots and mix with the spatula until combined. Now we're going to pour this batter on the bottom of a jelly roll pan lined with parchment paper and greased. We're going to bake the cake in the oven for about 12 minutes. When you touch the top of the cake with your finger, it should spring right back when it's done baking. Let the cake cool down completely before filling the macarons. Now we're going to decorate the macarons. We're going to use an edible marker to draw three lines across the middle of the carrot. We're also going to dip a brush in luster dust and dab it on top of the shelves to create a textured effect and some shadows. The luster dust I'm using here is an orange luster dust. Now it's time to make the cream cheese frosting. We're going to beat softened cream cheese and butter together in the bowl of a mixer for about two minutes until light and fluffy. And then we're going to add the powdered sugar, cinnamon, and we're going to add vanilla as well. Mix on low until the powdered sugar has been combined with the cream cheese and butter and then you can raise the speed to medium or medium high and beat for another minute. If the frosting is too soft, you can add a little bit more powdered sugar as needed. And then we're going to place the frosting in a piping bag. And now to fill the macarons, we're going to cut out small pieces of carrot cake. And then with the carrot cake that we cut out, we're going to place it on top of a bottom shell 
and then we're going to pipe the cream cheese frosting around it and place another shell on top. You might want to use a very small tip for the cream cheese. And then we're going to top with another shell. Always remember to let the macarons mature in the fridge overnight before serving them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. For the full recipe, you can go to my blog, paisantacos.com. I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.